Urbanetti, and I'm standing next to this beautiful variegated boxwood plant. It's kind of the winter centerpiece uh, of my g blue and yellow garden here. Lots of foliage, lots of color in the spring and summer. But in the winter time, it's nice to have some evergreen structure. But this boxwood is the mother of all the other boxwoods that I have in my garden. I'm going to show you how to get a free boxwood hedge. This is uh, the first part of my series on dirt cheap gardening tips. So let's go ahead and show you how to do a boxwood cutting. Simply take a branch that's kind of sticking out and I always think of a pencil. You want to cut a branch um, off of a boxwood uh, about as long as a pencil and what we're going to do is we're going to strip off these lower leaves. We're going to poke it in the ground. It's going to grow roots and we're going to have more boxwoods. Let me show you the next step. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and pull all these leaves off of the last half of the boxwood cutting. So you can see it's got a good six inches of bare stem. Every place where I removed a leaf that has a little bump called a node, that's where the roots are going to come out. So I like to just stick these in potting soil. I don't use a greenhouse. I put them in potting soil kind of push it in there. You can see I've done these earlier. They're just starting to root. They look kind of cute here for the summer, but pretty soon they're going to get bigger and they're going to need to be moved. Here's a tip. I do this propagation on a cloudy day after a lot of rain. That means there's humidity in the air and uh, these plants are going to struggle if, if a lot of heat comes out. So you want to do it when they can build their root system before it gets very hot. Probably the end of May, first part of June in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, you ready for the next step? Okay, so here's my boxwood grown from a cutting. It's been in the ground for two and a half, maybe three years. When it gets to be about this size, one foot tall, I know it's perfect for transplanting into my new boxwood hedge. How big is the root ball? I don't know. I have three pots ready. If there's not many roots, a smaller one, a medium-sized pot, and if I'm really lucky, a great big root system, which means I'll dig it and immediately put it in this pot. It's not going to stay in these pots. But the reason I need the right size is I don't want to lose the soil that's around the roots of this plant. Because it's late spring, early summer, these are actively growing. I don't want a bare root plant. I want to keep the soil around it for the all-important move to its final resting spot as a hedge. So let's find out how many roots do I have. Kind of depends on how nice and soft the soil is. And this is great soil. It's in a raised bed so it drains well. I add lots of compost matter, organic matter, and leaf mold to the soil. It's where I grow a mix of perennials and flowers. Now I made a circle around the plant, my shovel. Now I'm going to try to Make sure I get all the roots. Get underneath it, dig down deep. See how many root ball. Oh, it's a nice big root ball. Got my biggest pot ready. I'm gonna try to keep all the soil around the roots. Good job. See those roots? This is gonna transplant beautifully right in here. Ooh. Now, immediately I'm going to its final resting spot. So follow me. All right, you see my little boxwood hedge here, all made from free plants. So I got a big hole because I got a big root ball. I'm going to carefully slide it into the hole to try and keep as much soil as possible around the roots of this boxwood. So I'm kind of slide it out. There we go. Now I want to plant it at the same level it was growing at before. So I'm going to kind of judge it. Sometimes you kind of put a tool across. That's about the same level as before. So now I just fill in around it. It's the final boxwood in the end of my boxwood hedge here. And I do like boxwood because of their stiff, upright form. They kind of hold back the more casual plants. And this guy's a little bit taller than everybody else. I'm going to go ahead and snip off the top, and I could use this for growing more boxwood. 
So now you see my dirt cheap way to have a free boxwood hedge using one mother boxwood that keeps providing you with cuttings over and over. This has been Mary Ambonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.